In the 1300s, at the height of the Malay supremacy in Southeast Asia, the Majapahit Empire of Indonesia spreads across thousands of miles across the Asian continent from Malaysia, Borneo, Java, and extending to the tip of Bali. In Philippines, where the empire reigned in the 1400s, trade flourished and the local culture and commerce were honed better as they became intertwined with the daily routine of the expanding sultanate of this neighboring country. As the two peoples merged in both lifestyle and bloodline, techniques particularly in agriculture were exchanged from both sides. With corn being Asia's most affordable food base, both Juan de la Cruz and Ahmad Parunto tilled the land side by side and grew their corn seeds together. It is from this small kernel that the bond between these two countries was sealed firmly until today. This is the story of Asian Hybrid Sea Technologies Incorporated. So how does this plate of corn get into our table or processed for our animals? Perhaps it might be easier to understand this question if we trace the life cycle of a corn. Before a seed becomes usable for any domestic or industrial purpose, it first needs to be planted on good soil. With kind sunshine and gentle rain, the seed will break the earth and into the breathing world from five to eight days. Then the fight for survival for this young corn begins. Like most farm plants in the tropics, Corn is very susceptible to the harsh climatic and weather conditions inherent to areas in the equatorial zone. All throughout its growing stage, the plant is greatly exposed to a variety of environmental variables that directly affect its growth in the next few months. Added to this are the infestations of common plant pests and major diseases that most often dictate the survival of the fragile plant if it is going to survive. To provide a better fighting chance to the local farmers against high mortality rate of their corn plants, Asian Hybrid Seeds Technologies Incorporated in Malaybalay, Bukidnon, Philippines, ventured into a multi-million peso research and production facilities to conduct thorough studies in the production of a new breed of superior hybrid corn seeds that are custom made for the tropical agricultural condition in the Philippines as well as Indonesia. It now employs hundreds of workers assigned in its different operating areas scattered all over the Philippines and Indonesia. The intention to provide the ordinary farmers with a better quality of life undermines all our company's objectives. Asian Hybrid Seed Technologies Incorporated believes that a good harvest starts with the right seed. Barely 14 years into its operation, Asian Hybrid Seeds Technologies Incorporated boasts of its capability to provide an ideal high yield to all corn growers both here and in Indonesia. An all Filipino company, Asti, as it is commonly called in the industry, aims to reinforce the bond between the two countries that Juan and Ahmed started more than 600 years ago. Among the many strengths of the company is its world-class research facilities that continuously and religiously conduct in-depth studies on corn with the aim to further produce a far more superior corn variety that could resist and eventually overcome uncertainties of a growing corn. To achieve this, the company relies on a very wide germplasm source with the widest adaptation from Southeast Asia, Middle East, and the tropical countries of South and Latin Americas. This collection so far is the biggest and highest among Filipino seed companies. Asti scientists are respected in the field of corn breeding. Their dedication to help the farmers is matched only by Asian Hybrid itself.
The life of a breeding company depends upon the genetic diversity available in the breeding program. So, with our company, we are trying to collect germplasm from various sources, and we are confident that uh, we have been furnished. We have, we were able to come up with or collect materials from so many countries in the world. Moreover. Asti owns two corn research companies in the Philippines, the Genetics System Incorporated, or GSI, in Bukidnon, and the Tropical Seed Genetics and Sciences Incorporated, or TSGSI, in General Santos City and Banga, South Cotabato. A combined 120 acres in Isabela, Bukidnon, General Santos City and South Cotabato is dedicated by Asian Hybrid for further research in corn breeding. Just in January 2002, the company started its bid for globalization by starting operations in Indonesia and India. With full support and endorsement from the Indonesian government, Asti was inspired to open its first two offshore companies in both countries, Green Globe Seeds Genetics Incorporated in Hyderabad, India, and the PT Jagung Hybrida Sulawesi in Sulawesi, Indonesia. In order to develop a hybrid corn that can perform best, one has to put up a research facility and a nursery of 100 acres at 6 to 20 degrees north latitude and along the equator across the wide and erratic growing conditions in Southeast and Central Asia and in the Pacific Rim. Such move puts Asian hybrid in a great geographical advantage over others by being able to produce corn seeds that are not only superior but widely adaptable across Asia and in the Pacific Rim as well. The company is also dedicated to the full support of its breeders through intensive agronomy research and development to come up with an applicable and least cost package of cultural practices as well as setting up of agronomy service centers in major corn growing areas in the country and in Indonesia. To satisfy the increasing demand for hybrid corn, Asti planted hybrid corn seeds on hundreds of hectares of fertile soil in Bukidnon, Davao City, and South Cotabato, where environmental conditions are most favorable for hybrid corn production. The production scheme includes input financing and closely supervised farm operations that has been providing social and economic assistance to hundreds of farmers. These same farmers are contract seed growers for Asti, who work side by side with a company in its pursuit to produce only the best quality hybrid corn seed. The company's seed processing plant in Bukidnon can process more than 300,000 metric tons of hybrid corn seeds per year that can be stored in refrigerated silos with holding capacity of 2,000 tons that guarantee freshness for three years. Within 24 hours after harvesting, corn and cobs are transported and properly received at the processing plant. Quality assurance starts to intervene here through attainment of the ideal time frame of corn cob delivery. Upon arrival, the cobs undertake sorting and selection to determine the desirable or good cobs, which are then conveyed to the mechanical dryer. The dryer maintains an effective drying temperature of 40 to 43 degrees Celsius. At 15 to 18 percent moisture content, shelling operation takes place. Asti has set a standard of cracked grains to be less than 2 percent. The grains are further redried to reduce moisture content to 10%, which is the ideal percentage to facilitate treatment. Cleaning then follows before the grains are subjected to a gravity separator. At this stage, chopped, lightweight, and disease-infected grains together with foreign and unwanted materials are separated from the heavy, good-shaped, uniform-sized, healthy, and viable hybrid seed corn. It is only when the full sifting process is completed that the grains are ready for treatment and packaging. Asian Hybrid Seeds Technologies Incorporated 
is now a far jump from its meager beginnings 14 years ago. To date, it enjoys market leadership in the hybrid seed corn industry in Mindanao, backed up by a very strong support of its dealers and the farmers themselves. Superior product, consistent supply, and a very farmer-friendly marketing scheme Asian Hybrid has all the necessary components to dominate the market in the many years to come. Asian Hybrid Corn Seed Technologies Incorporated pledges to utilize all its resources and technology to the production of a superior yet organic hybrid corn seed that is meant to live side by side with a natural environment. So far, four Asti hybrid corn seed varieties have passed the Indonesian seed board test. They are Jaya 1, Jaya 2, Jaya 3, and KRI. With the latter being personally labeled and officially endorsed by President Megawati Sukarno Putri herself. In addition, farmers are also given free trainings and seminars on corn yield profit and other related topics. In this particular aspect, Asti works hand-in-hand -hand with the Department of Agriculture and local government units in conducting intensive live-in seminars among its agricultural extension workers and LGU representatives to discuss, among others, an applicable technology aimed at providing economic and social development to our beloved corn farmers. With the technology we develop, millions of farmers will be happy and millions of mouths will be fed. There is no doubt about the stability of the Asian hybrid because it has the support of the small farmers as well as the marginal farm workers. The Asian hybrid is the only seed company in this business, only Filipino seed company, and probably the only seed company that offers a high yielding sturdy and tolerant variety of seeds that is better if not at par with the best among our competitors and yet at a very very low price calibrated at the affordability of farmers ang masabi ko lang sa lalong lalo sa parente ko na mga muslims Eh, kung gusto nilang mag-asinso, eh, dapat magsali nila sa akin na gumagamit ng GSI. Dati, eh, dati, yung kanilang mga anak, hindi nila ma mapaaral. Ngayon, napapaaral na nila. Ito na aking init, nagitaas pa gano'y ang akong uh, yel. Hindi man na inambog, pero kay nakita na akong bakay kung tanawunin mo ang ibang uh, similya, medyo nagkikupo ang iyang bunga pero sa iya mga pamunga ng yapon may sulod ang iyang bunga Ibang nila rin nyo 1846 gamit sa GSI but sa dagi ng resulta Kay kulang dyan sa income ang amo ang kuwan sa una produkto ang ika nga TV hybrid ba di pariya ka lang sa GSI 40 nga di ha may nakalamang ka rin pagsuod na mo sa g 40 Kabahin sa g sa nasulayan yun ako, na naka-agib init, niya, maayaw po nang abot. O, sa party po sa ulan-ulan, maayaw po nang akong abot. Murang gulay, wala po maagig pili na nang maisa. Huwag po yun siya. Nakasulay ko ang g 35. Sa lima kabag na ko, nakakuha ko 958 kasako. Tanan, mga bata na ko, Ya gud nak kuwi ko gud nak akong paspila sa ila. Dagan ko kay na akong bata ako ni paspila. Murag dili siguro ko kakol kay dagan ko kung nasulayan ng mga mga seeds, mga semilya. Murag di na ko ipalupig ning gisay. Kay nakasulay na gud ni sa kadag ko sa bunga. Kay dili na ko panghambog. Ah dagan man kay nakakita nga dili ingon nga magbinutbot ko kay na mag sa highway na sa pring karsada nga ako maysa. Basta makayong nga dagko gud siya. Oh, kapila na ko magtanom ani. 
Buat manggil, mau orang manggil kepada aku apa saya yang buat. Saya buka tun, buka siap. Buat apa gitu. Aside from directly purchasing harvest from its growth, Asti also provides market matching opportunities between corn farmers and millers or integrators. It is a primary objective of Asian Hybrid to help small farmers maximize their income opportunities among the many fair buyers in the industry. This hometown company with big hopes is starting to realize its dreams. For best results in planting Asian hybrid corn seeds, the following cultural practices is suggested. First, purchase GSI TSG hybrid corn seeds five days before planting from the nearest distributor in your area. Prepare the land to be planted by plowing or harrowing it two times. First one at least 20 days before planting and the second harrowing at least three days before. On the day of planting, use basal application of the following fertilizer requirements. Two bags of 0, 0, 060. Three bags of 18460. Observe planting spacing and population density at 70 by 20 centimeters, one plant per hill. An estimated population of 64,000 plants per hectare. When doing your first side dressing, at 12 to 15 days after planting, use fertilization at 1.5 bags of 4600. Do off-bearing to cover newly side-dressed fertilizer. At plant care, especially weeding, institute at 20 to 25 days after planting. Do your second side dressing 26 to 30 days after planting using 1.5 bags of 4600. Immediately after side dressing, do healing up to cover newly applied fertilizer. When spraying against cutworms and corn borers, please observe the following DAP specifications. With proper financial and management skills, coupled by correct cultural practices, the farmer is expected to earn higher net income per hectare to effect to evident improvement in his living condition. Actual dry grain yield of 5 to 10 tons per hectare and a potential dry grain yield as high as 13 tons per hectare is highly attainable with GSI and Jaya hybrid corn. Life can be a little better hybrid corn. To date, Asti hybrid corn seeds perform equally, if not much better than the best hybrids of other companies here and abroad. Most importantly, all Asian hybrid corns are free of genetically modified organisms and promise no threat to the rich biodiversity of Southeast Asian countries and to both human and animal consumers. Moreover, Strict halal and Christian eaters alike are assured of a non-diluted, uncontaminated corn diet, totally free of any corn uncertainties. Historically, the damage caused by corn borer is at least tolerable and not alarming. An infestation rate of 15% does not literally mean 15% yield reduction. In most cases, this magnitude of infestation would only result to a damage of at least 3%. In the Philippines today, prevention and control of corn borer is effectively practiced to greatly reduce to a minimum the corn borer damage. Asian Hybrid Seeds Technologies Incorporated for its part has been producing a hybrid corn that is resistant to corn borer infestation. Majority of the corn area is planted within a short period of time. Given both practice efforts to prevent corn borer infestation, prevention measures are also initiated by both the government and the private measures. One method 
is the biological approach using trichogramma to control corn borer biologically. At present, the Department of Agriculture, through its program, the Integrated Pest Management, or IPM, has been producing the trichogramma for distribution to the Filipino corn farmers at a very minimal cost. The effect of trichogramma used against corn borers is proven to be effective. Another method employed to control corn borers is the mechanical method. This involves removal of corn tassel infested by corn borers by either cutting or pulling the infected part at a ratio of 1 is to 3. Cut tassels are then exposed to sunlight that leads to the eventual killing of the corn borer larvae. While Asian hybrid seeds technology supports the development in the agricultural sector, it still strongly adheres to the preservation of the natural order of things. The company plays an important role in the cycle of life, where man is always a part of a bigger and more profound ecosystem, where his own existence is dependent on the well-being of other organic life forms. All Asian hybrid corns are free of genetically modified organisms and will never in any way dilute, much more destroy what God has purposely made for mankind. Two races, a common heritage, Asian hybrid, a better life for all. Asti, a breed over others that pledges to bring happiness to millions of farmers and food to feed millions of mouths.